This is another in our series of multiple choice revision questions. We take a particular question, look at it, explain the answer, and do a little bit of revision along the way. Uh, our question this time concerns inflation targets. And here's the question. A country has a floating exchange rate and an independent central bank with the power to set their own interest rates. The inflation rate is currently stable at the central bank's target rate of 5%. What is likely to happen to interest rates and to the exchange rate if the bank's target inflation rate was reduced to 2%? Press the pause button to think about your answer. Have a think about uh, what you think the correct answer is. And I'll be back in a few seconds. So what did you come up with uh, for this question? The correct answer to this question is D. Interest rates likely to increase and the exchange rate likely to appreciate. Let's think a little bit about the, the intuition behind the, the answer. The country has a floating exchange rate, and of course that means the exchange rate is influenced by market forces, and the interest rate, of course, can also affect the exchange rate because it's going to cause inflows and outflows of, of hot money. The central bank has lowered their inflation target, so they'll probably need to raise interest rates in the short term to help control inflationary pressure to bring inflation down from 5% to 2%. Some kind of contractionary deflationary monetary policy is likely in that scenario because the inflation target is now tighter at 2%. A rise in interest rates relative to other countries is likely to cause an inflow of short-term hot money into that country's banking system looking to take advantage of the higher interest rates. And the inflow of hot money itself represents a demand for that country's currency which will likely cause the value of the currency to appreciate. So a fall in the inflation target for a country with a floating exchange rate, in the short term at least, is likely to lead to higher interest rates and a stronger appreciating currency. And that's why D is the correct answer to this question.